Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be making a creamy buffalo dip. It's really good. So what you're gonna start off with is some room temperature cream cheese. Um, it's eight ounces. Pro tip, if it, you don't wanna wait for it to get room temp, you can pop it in the microwave probably for 30 seconds. Check it, it's gonna kinda of get soft fast. We're gonna get all of the cream cheese in the pot. Then we're gonna also use a cup of Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. and one cup of ranch. I'm gonna heat this on the stove till it's all melted in a nice consistency and I will be right back. I'll show you the consistency. All right, guys, we're back. I cooked it for probably like five minutes or so on a medium high heat. It's pretty creamy. There's gonna be a few chunks, but it's gonna melt. So don't worry about that. I cut up about four green onion so I'm gonna add that in. The green onion gives it a nice flavor. Just mix it in. Then I have a cup here of sharp cheddar cheese and a cup of mozzarella cheese. I grated it fresh because I think fresh grated cheese makes a better dip. You don't have to grate it fresh. You can buy bagged cheese and do that. This is so good. I first had it uh, at my sister's house. She had it for like a little little app before dinner. I was like, what is this? It's Buffalo chicken dip. It's not that spicy either. You think it's gonna be spicy, no. but it, it really isn't. So even people- But it's gonna burn like going, on, uh, going out. If you eat too much. It's gonna burn your ass off, straight up. And honestly, the canned chicken is the easiest way, in my opinion, and it tastes really good. You can't tell it's, it's canned. It's fast, it's easy. It, Get it's the chicken. premium one, the Swanson. Did I say that right? Swanson. 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 Swap meat. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of break it up a little bit if it's big chunks. It's kind of gonna break up when you stir it anyway. Drain the juice too. You don't want it to be like soupy. So there's the first can. The cheese kind of like will melt all together with it. The green onion gives it a good added flavor. I know some people may not like onion, so you can leave it out, but I love it. So there's the chicken all in. Rinse my hand. Combine it. It's really good with tortilla chips. Yes. It's amazing. I can't lie. It's amazing. It's good if you want to watch some football. I know it's football season. Yep. Make it. I like a lot of cheese because I like my booty hole clothes. So, but like I said, the past videos, what's that stuff called? Uh, that boo boo powder? Um, Help you shit? Miralax? Miralax. Right here. Yes. You'll Drink some that. of that. Two capfuls in. Two cap. Kid. Two, two capfuls of that vinegar. <laughs> Snap it right back. Snap back. Spray it because I'm all about easy cleanup afterwards. Then you're just going to pour it into your dish. Mm. Make it nice and even. And then also I have a half a cup of mozzarella and a half a cup of cheddar cheese to put on top. And honestly, one more cup on top is enough because you put a lot of cheese inside. Just want to spread it evenly. And then preheat your oven to 350. You're going to want to bake it for 30, maybe 40 minutes. You want it to be bubbly and you want to get the cheese on top melted and kind of to start to make a crust. Kind of so, like, a, like a mac and cheese, basically. Yeah, just like a mac and cheese. That's a good, a good comparison. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this in the oven and we're going to show you what it looks like when it's done. You to be. All right, guys, here's the finished product. I cooked it for about 40 minutes at 350 and I topped it with green onion at the end and it's ready to go and I can't wait to eat it. Thank you. Goodbye.